Hello students, let's start with the first exercise of chapter 6 that is lines and angles and the exercise is 6.1. So the first question, this is the figure given, using this figure given there are certain data that has been provided to us and we need to find something using the data and the given figure. So let's read out what is the given data. You have lines AB and CD intersect at point O. So this is my line AB and this is my line CD, they are intersecting at point O. Also angle AOC plus BOE is 70 degrees. So angle AOC plus BOE is 70 degrees. Let's mark these two angles. You have angle AOC plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degrees and angle BOD is 40 degrees. So angle BOD is 40 degrees. Since BOD is already been given, I'll mark it here as 40 degrees. Correct? What do we need to find? We need to find BOE. So we need to find this angle. Angle BOE. We need to find this angle and reflex of angle COE. So reflex of angle COE is going to be you have COE here, so reflex of angle COE will be this angle. Let's see how we are going to do this. So first of all, you have a straight line AB out here, right? And if you ignore any of these rays, OC or OE, let's say I'm ignoring ray OC, uh, ray OE. What do I get? AB is a straight line and OC is the ray standing on it. It is also the common arm and these are the two different arms, uh, non-common arms. So therefore, through linear pair axiom, what do we get? AOC plus COB is 180 degrees. Let's, uh, COB is 180 degrees. Let's write this down. So I'll see solution. Angle COA or AOC plus angle COB is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Linear pair axiom. Correct? But angle COB is made up of what? Angle COE plus EOB. Why? Because they are adjacent angles. So I'll rewrite this. Therefore, angle AOC plus angle COE plus angle EOB or yeah. Or we can just write BOE instead of EOB. Angle BOE is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Angle COE plus BOE is angle COB. Correct? They are adjacent angles. Now, what has been given? We have already been given that AOC plus BOE is 180 degrees, uh, is 70 degrees. So I can write but angle AOC plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degrees. This is given. Therefore, what do we get? If I mark this as equation 1, what do I get? Therefore, 1 becomes 70 degrees plus angle COE is equal to 180 degrees. Now 70 is getting added here, it will come on the right hand side and get subtracted. So therefore, angle COE is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees. So 180 minus 70 degrees is 110 degrees, correct? This is my angle COE. Now we need to find reflex of angle COE. Remember when we were doing angles, when I was giving you the explanation of angles, suppose I have my angle ABC. If we have two angles over here, one is angle ABC, the smaller one, and reflex of angle ABC, which is also angle ABC, correct? Which is the larger one. So this is the reflex angle of angle ABC, correct? And what is the measure of reflex angle? It is 360 degrees minus this angle, let's say X, correct? Similarly here, reflex of angle COE will be what? 360 degrees minus angle COE. So COE is 110. 
So I'll mark this as 2. Now reflex angle COE is equal to 360 degrees minus angle COE which is equal to 360 degrees minus 110 degrees I will say from 2 correct. So 360 minus 110 will be 250 degrees. So my reflex angle COE is 250 degrees. This is one of my answers. I will mark this as A. So we have found reflex angle COE. How about angle BOE? So we need to now find this angle. Now let us see. This angle plus this angle plus this angle is how much? 180 degrees. We have found it here. Angle AOC plus COE plus BOE is 180 degrees. But what do we have? Angle Wait. Okay. Now, first of all, this angle, if you see the straight line CD, it is a straight line and we have a ray here, E, correct? Ignore OB for now. So, since this is a straight line and ray OE is standing on this uh, straight line, we have angle COE plus EOD equal to 180 degrees. Why? Through the linear pair axiom. But EOD is how much? Yeah, what is EOD? EOD is EOB plus BOD or DOB plus BOE plus EOC, correct? We have the measure of this angle as 40 degrees. We have found the measure of this angle. We can easily find the measure of angle BOE. So, let us do this. I have angle COE plus angle EOD is equal to 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom. Correct? But EOD is what? BOE plus BOD. So, this can be rewritten as COE plus BOE plus angle BOD is equal to 180 degrees. I will say adjacent angles or I will say EOD angle EOD is equal to angle BOE plus angle BOD. Correct? So, now COE is how much? It is 110 degrees plus angle BOE plus angle BOD. So, BOD is given to be 40 degrees here. 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Where did I get these numbers from? I got this from, from 2 and given. So, I will say from 2 and given. Correct? Therefore, 110 plus 40 is 150 degrees plus angle BOE is equal to 180 degrees. Correct? Now, 150 will come here on the right hand side. So, it will become negative. Therefore, angle BOE is equal to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees which is 30 degrees. Therefore, I will mark this as B. Therefore, from A and B we have found our answers. Reflex angle COE is 250 degrees and angle BOE is 30 degrees. Let us write down the answer. Angle BOE is equal to 30 degrees and angle uh, reflex angle COE is equal to 250 degrees. You can just write from A and B. So, this was the first question. Let us move on to the second question of exercise 6.1. So, moving on to question 2, let us read that out. We have been given that lines x, y and m n intersect at point O. So, we have line x, y and m n intersecting at point O. Angle P, O, y is 90 degrees. So, you can see that P, O, y is 90 degrees here. 
correct and a the ratio of a is to b is 2 is to 3 so a is to b is 2 is to 3 we need to find angle c let's see how we are going to do that so i'll say uh, solution first of all if you see x y is a straight line correct and op is the ray standing on it therefore what do we have we have angle x o p plus angle p o y as 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom correct so now this is 90 degrees so angle p o x will also become 180 degrees minus 90 degrees which is 90 degrees so let's just write this down then we'll proceed with the sum so i'll say angle p o x plus angle p o y is equal to 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom correct but it is given that p o y is 90 degrees but angle p o y is equal to 90 degrees therefore what do we get therefore angle p o x plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees now 90 will come on this side so it will become negative therefore angle p o x is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees which is 90 degrees correct i'll mark this as 1 now we have found the measure of angle POX. POX is made up of angle XOM and angle MOQ. So, but angle POX is equal to angle XOM plus angle MOQ. Why? Adjacent angles. correct but what is xom xom is b so this is going to be b and moq uh, sorry this is mop xom and mop so b plus and mop is a correct so, and pox is what 90 so i can say from 1 and given from 1 we have pox is 90 degrees and from given we have here in the diagram itself we have mop as a and XO, uh, xom as b correct so b plus a is 90 degrees also we have been given the ratio of a is to b which is 2 is to 3 now in the first uh, uh, the first sum that we did uh, in the solved examples, we solved how to find the ratios, uh, find the angles when the ratios are given, right? So let's redo that part. If I have B plus A is 90 degrees and the ratio of A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3, that means 90 is divided into 2 plus 3 parts, which is 5 parts. So the ratio of A will be how much? 2 upon 5 into 90 and the ratio of B will be whatever the we get as the answer of A, 90 minus A. So let's find this out. Therefore, A is what? 2 upon 5, I'll say 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 90 degrees is divided into 5 equal parts and out of these 5 equal parts 2 parts are given to A and 3 parts are given to B so A's angle will be how much 2 upon 5 into 90 so I have 5 ones are 5 ones are 5 5 nines are 45 so 2 into 19 is what 2 nines are 18 and 5 eights are 40 so 2 into 18 is 36. So measure of angle, therefore, A is equal to 36 degrees. Correct? Therefore, from, I'll mark this as 2 and 3. Therefore, from 2 and 3, what do we get?
we get 90 degrees is equal to angle B. Angle B we need to find out plus 36 degrees, correct? Therefore, B is going to be 90 degrees minus 36 degrees, which is how much? 4 and uh, 8 minus 3 is 5, 54 degrees. So, therefore, what do we have? I am erasing this section because we need some uh, part of the board to make it look neat. We will re redo the sum. I will redraw it for you in probably the next class. So, let us write therefore, B is equal to 54 degrees. I will mark this as 4. So, we have found the measures of angle A and B, but what do we need to find out? We need to find the measure of angle C. Now, if you notice, M N here is a straight line and O X is a ray standing on it. Therefore, angle M O X plus angle X O N is how much? 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom. That is B plus C is 180 degrees. We have been given B, we know the total of this. Can we find C? Yes, of course. So, let us do this. I have angle, so this is a new section to solve the same question, that is why I am just drawing a line to separate angle M O X plus angle X O N is equal to 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom. M O X is what? M O X is B and X O N is what? It is C is equal to 180 degrees, correct? But B is how much? B is 54 degrees plus C which is 180 degrees. So, this uh, we substituted the value of B as 54 from 4. So, I will say from 4. Therefore, C is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 54 degrees which is going to be 6, then 7 minus 5 is 2, 126 degrees. Therefore, C is 126 degrees, this is my answer. Correct? Please take a look. So, let us continue with the third uh, question onwards in the next class, because we have already filled our board and I will uh, write the questions for you, so that we can continue with uh, solving exercise 6.1. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.